Hello and welcome to Train Simulator. I'm the Scottish Lord and today I have got Soundjit with me. Hello and today we are doing quite an interesting game which he has done I think two parts of and one that I remember of being the episode of Doom. So hopefully we don't get doomed in this episode and we have fun. So let's go. Yes. So today we're going into the academy and going to be doing the BR189 Academy Electric Primary Controls. Um, apparently it's summer, it's clear, and it's 15.45. What an oddly specific time for yeah. a train to leave. I mean, considering that it's just training. 15.45, could we not have just rounded this up to the 1600? Yeah. I mean, that would have just made a lot more sense. Your class starts at... 1545. Just, no. Yeah. So, I think we'll take it down to the end of the driving, and that will be the episode for today. So, as you can see, it's one of the electric units. I don't know what this really means, but we're going to start this, and yeah, let's get into this. Oh, here we go. Cut scenes. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> One of my greatest quotes of all times. Yeah. Okay. And this is the bit where I start reading a whole lot and probably get my words twisted. One of eight. Welcome. This is the cab of a BR189 electric locomotive. In this lesson, we will learn how to start and stop. Wow. Excellent. The camera will change each time a control is set correctly. Close these message boxes to continue. I intend to. Shouldn't it be learn to, you know, start, go forward, and then stop? Because I don't think you can just start a train and just be like, oh yeah, you just, you just uh, turned off the engine, you, you stopped when you weren't even moving at all. <laughs> yeah. That's actually a good point there. It should be stop, go forward. No, start, go forward and stop. This is what I mean by <laughs> with these things. I can't speak properly sometimes. Here we go. Two out of eight. Power. This locomotive requires electricity collected through a pantograph on the roof. Oh, haven't done this before. To raise and lower it, use the indicated switch. For now, it's already wa uh, raised. It's already raised, uh, apparently. Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, look at that. Oh. Camera. Huh. Three out of eight, direction. To get the train moving, you need to set the direction by adjusting the reverse side. This is set forward by pushing the control away from you. Come on! I think I've done it. Oh, it did it for me. Uh, four out of eight. The brakes. Ooh. They're generally important. Uh, yeah, something tells me they're quite important. Right, here we go. Now release the brakes. To do this, we push the lever all the way forward. Which one? Oh, this one. No, go for it. This is a really bad game when it comes to the sensitivity. 5 out of 8 power. Finally we need power. This is controlled by the throttle. Push the, push the lever forward halfway to apply the power. Anything but another lever. <laughs> Done it. Yay. Good grief. Oh. It sounds like a blown air raid site. 6 <laughs> out of 8. Drive. Congratulations, you are driving the locomotive. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> okay. Seven out of eight, constant speed. To maintain a speed, we don't need any power. And can coast. Do, 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 oh, no. do, do, do. We, will, we will teach you how to stop. But before we do that, we'll take you completely out of the immersion, stop the train, and possibly time, and give you more tutorials. Yep. However, weight and gradients when ha hauling trains may have an effect on your speed, so a low throttle setting may be required. I don't know. There we go. Determined. I'm having to just use these, like the levers, the levers, the levers on the screen. The train spent, the train was meant to be leaving at 15:45. You spent a whole 41 seconds actually driving it. Yeah. Eight out of eight stopping. Now we want to stop. We're not hauling any wagons, so we don't need to fully apply the apply. 
We don't need to fully apply the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pull the lever halfway towards you. That'll do. <laughs> We're stopping and stopping. Yay. Scenario complete. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you can start. Go forward, coast. Yep. And stop. Okay, so that's the uh, first mission done. We've unlocked an achievement. We're legends. Yeah. Apparently. So the next. Do it. So the next one is all oh, secondary controls. It's still summer, but this time it's stormy. And it's at 8 o'clock at night. At least they know how to round things up to the full hour now. Yeah. Uh, good grief. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, more cutscenes! Oh, they are choppy. I love PS2. I style. look like Gary Barlow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, it's okay. <laughs> Welcome back to the club. Ba, 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 ba. There's more to this train than simply starting and stopping. Yeah. There's moving. Yeah. <laughs> I am mind blown. Yes. Two out of eight. Objective. In this lesson, we will learn about additional controls that drivers frequently use. The camera will change each time a control is set correctly. Complete each action after closing these message boxes. 3 out of 8. Headlights. When it's dark outside, it can be hard to see the track and line side signage. Couldn't guess that one. Yeah. Uh, activate the headlights by pushing the switch all the way forward. Which one? They need to be more specific about this. <laughs> I think it's this one. Oh. oh, and Four another cutscene. It's a good cutscene, that one, then. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, clipping through oh our my. own arms. Yeah. Five out of eight, wipers. With the heavy rain outside, it can be difficult to see. Turn on the wipers by clicking the indicated switch. Where is it? <laughs> it's done one thing better than when all the subway's free. You've turned on your cab light before anything else. Yeah. Where's that switch? I genu I genuinely can't see where the switch is. Can you? Um. So I can't. Like, um. I, I can't tell. I genuinely can't see it. Hello. Oh. <laughs> well, something did something. Uh. Hang on. Oh. Um. Where where is it? Oh, is it this one? I, I can't tell. <laughs> what? Help! <laughs> oh, I, I just used the button on the... Why did it tell you to flip us one? <laughs> on the heads up display. Yeah, that's the other thing as well. You never actually click on anything in the game when wow. you're actually playing it. It's only in these training things that you click on the wow. things. Ev just... Everything else is done with the heads up display. Uh, 7 out of 8 horn. A very important tool for the driver is the horn. It's used to warn those ahead that a train's approaching. Pull the switch to sound the horn. Expert sound design. Yes. Scenario is complete. We've got another achievement. <laughs> you used a train's horn. Here's an achievement for you. Yep. Yeah. So. The debrief, we did everything right. So, that's that. Switching junctions. This sounds a bit more complex. So again, it's 3.45, it's summer and it's clear, and we're getting into this. God. These all seem pretty easy so far. Don't say that now. Oh, God. Right. Again, let's get into this.
Right, so we should probably start now, actually. <laughs> One out of six, welcome, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we will learn about switching junctions, complete each act, blah, 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 blah. For goodness sake. I think I'm stupid. Two out of six, junction types. Modern busy railway lines are controlled remotely by a signal box. Junctions controlling the path of a train are automatic. Couldn't have guessed that one. Considering that National Rail have been closing so many of the old signal boxes and rewriting them to uh, big depots, <laughs> I had no idea of this. Um, in freight yards and depots, small f and frequent movements are required, making automatic control impractical. In yards, these junctions are manual. So the difference between the two types of switches can be identified by their equipment. A manual junction has a lever to turn it one way or the other. An automatic junction has a small box containing a motor to drive it. But if you still have to push a button, then that's not automatic. Yep. <laughs> also, note how that actually says automatic. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> this is totally like London Underground Simulator, the spelling mistakes. Yeah. But they're saying that London Underground Simulator had an excuse. Yeah. It was originally German. They have an excuse for that one. Yeah. This one doesn't. I don't think. In fact, no, it doesn't, because it's Dovetail Games, and they're a UK thing, I think. Don't quote me on that. Uh, <laughs> so, operation. Manual junctions can be operated by clicking the lever or pressing G on the keyboard. They can also be changed on the action menu and 2D map, blah, blah, blah. Automatic junctions cannot be operated. These are under the control. Oh, right, OK, so we're not pushing a button for those. So up ahead, the path through the junction is set to the left. Using the free camera, fly over the junction, click the lever to change its direction. Once set, drive the local... You know it's bad when <laughs> they're literally telling you to break the fourth wall in a simulation game. Yep. Also, no, 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 no. Hang on, I'm trying to click it. I'm not clicking it. G, fine, G, we're just gonna go G. And then drive forward. Who called the air raid warden? <laughs> oh my God. Now I pushed G. Final destination reached. Wonderful. And we got another achievement. These are all seeming very simple. Yep. I did do... Yeah, we did that right. Switching cabs. I feel like... Should we do switching cabs? I feel like that's awfully basic. Yeah. Yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> One out of five, welcome. Welcome back to the BR189. We're going to learn how to change cabs. You get out one and get in another one. Done. <laughs> Yay. So when a locomotive is shunting wagons, it must run ahead of the train and then turn around. To accommodate this, modern locomotives have a driving cab at both ends to save having to physically turn the whole thing around. Why not just have a big turning circle? Roundabout for train. <laughs> that would work. That would. So changing direction. Our locomotive has just shunted forward beyond the junction. To head back the other way, we must change ends. Wow, no crap. Can we not just stick the thing into reverse? Yeah. Do this now by pressing Control and Plus or Minus on the keyboard, or by selecting Next Car from the Action menu. Does it just jump cut you to the next tab? Uh Immersion! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scenario <Maria>. complete! <laughs> you are a great player! <laughs> you, you really have to question how that was a mission. You click the button! Wow. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to think about that. Um... Well, I guess we're just going to go into the last one, which is loading and unloading. <laughs> okay, right. <laughs> right, okay, welcome. 
One out of six. Welcome. Operating trains is not only about driving along the railways, but it also involves loading and unloading of cargo people. <laughs> In this lesson, we will learn how to load and unload containers from flat wagons. Two out of six. Gantry cranes. <laughs> Sounds like a Scottish word. Gantry. Yep. To lift heavy containers on and off of wagons, huge gantry cranes are involved like this one. They hoist the container from the side of the... I've gone into British Pathé mode. <laughs> they hoist the container from the side of the track over the train and sit it down with high precision on the waiting wagon. <laughs> right, three out of six. Loading cargo. Oh, come on. There we go, that's better. Um, our train is already in place and ready to be loaded. Switch to an external camera. Three on the keyboard. To start the loading process, click on the crane or press T. I can go for a cover. Huh. Uh, T. Oh. My mind has been successfully blown. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations, the container has been successful. See if that was all it was. Is that the end? Good. Unloading the cargo. Hang on. To unload, click the crane again or press Shift T. Shift T. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! It's going. It's going. I love the storytelling of this game. Yeah. That cargo was my favourite character. <laughs> <laughs> Scenario complete. That was the best level I've ever seen in a video game ever. Yeah. It was a solid two buttons long. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we, we're we definitely leaving it here because I feel like it's they're just easy. So that that has been the training for the BR16534 or whatever the heck it's called. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and that has been Train Simulator 2018. I've been the Scottish Lord. This has been Sound Jip. Um, goodbye, lordies and gentle lords. <laughs> I, never, I, I never thought I would call my people that, but hey, that's a good one. I might keep that. Um, yeah. But either way, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like. If you really enjoy lots of my content, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to be notified of all future uploads and when I'm uploading, make turn sure to... Turn the bell on. Well, yeah, ring the notification bell, turn the bell on. And follow me on Twitter at ScottishLordYT. And while you're at it, make sure to subscribe to Soundjip and follow him on Twitter, at Soundjip. Oh, that was cute. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> um, anything for a dear collaborator? Ooh, I have, as you can see, it is fair game. Because your channel gets promoted in it. And obviously, it's quite fair game for collab... For, of course, right when I'm trying to talk to a microphone. For collaborating with the YouTube community. So please don't be antisocial in the YouTube community and collaborate with people. Because you need friends. Or don't. Just do whatever you want. Bye! <laughs> well, those are the, that's the most interesting outro I've ever recorded. I'm so sorry. Oh no, don't be. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> oh. So, that has been Train Simulator. I, I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.